Hello everyone. So in this particular video, we will go for the topic final class. Our next topic is final class. Now, before covering the topic final class, I will come on to a object oriented property that is inheritance. Now, what is inheritance? Creating a subclass from a parent class is called as inheritance. Suppose I am saying I have a class one. Suppose I am creating a class two from this class one by using this class one. So that concept is called as inheritance. This class one will be called as a super class or I will say it is your parent class. And this class class two will be called as subclass or it will be also called as child class. So what is inheritance? Creating a new class from the existing class is called as inheritance. Now, what is the main advantage of inheritance? Suppose I am saying this class has five methods. So whenever you will create a class two by using class one, so those five methods will automatically come into class two. Plus you can write your additional code. So reusability is one of the best advantage of inheritance. Suppose if I will go for the real time example, our few characteristics are always from our parents. Plus we have some additional characteristics also. So that is called as inheritance. Now our topic is final class. What do you mean by final class? A final class is a special type of class which cannot be inherited. Means I cannot create subclasses or child classes from the final class means a final class cannot have subclasses. So a final class will never, never allow us to go for inheritance. We cannot create child classes from the final class. Suppose we'll see practically. Suppose firstly, I will go to SC24, which is the transaction code to create a global class. Suppose I will give some name to the class. I will click on to create button. I will create the class. I will give some short description. And you can see there is a checkbox final. I'm creating a usable ABAP class only. Plus I'm saying this class will act as a final class also. I will go to save button. I will save it as a local object. I'm activating the class. Suppose same way I will take a method. Method will be instance. I will choose the visibility as public. I will take some parameters in that class. Suppose one input parameter and four output parameters. Same to same way I am doing. Importing 
and four exporting parameters. I will pass that data element. So I created a final class or the best word I will say, I have the usual ABAP class only, but that class has the additional thing that it is a final class also. Now, now what is final class means I cannot achieve the inheritance using this particular class. So what I will do? I will go to SC24 and I will try to create a subclass using this final class or I will try to create a child class using this final class. I'll go to create class. I will say subclass. Subclass can be final, no problem. Now I will go to properties tab. I will click on to this super class tab and I will pass the final class which we created just now into my subclass and I am pressing enter. And you can see I am getting an error that your class is final. You cannot create subclasses. So whenever you have a final class, you cannot achieve inheritance with the help of that final class. Suppose I will create another class which will not be final. Suppose I'm creating a class which is not final. Class. Now I'm not taking this class as a final class. I will save it as a local object. I will take some method, same to same. I will take display method. I will take the same to same parameters. First will be importing and all four are exporting. I'll pass the data element. Now I'm creating a class which is not final. Now I will try to create a subclass using this class. I will try to create a subclass now. Subclass. Now, here I will pass the name of the class, which is not my final class. And you can see there is no error. And now, whenever I'm activating this class and you can see this display method was in my super class and it automatically came into the subclass. So this is the main advantage of inheritance, but you cannot achieve inheritance if the class is 
a final class now in the next video we will learn with the help of coding how we can create a final class thank you very much thank you